Good morning guys, it is yet another beautiful day out here in Halifax today and right now it's only around 7.45 a.m. Surprisingly, I'm up a little early today which is something that doesn't happen very often so I'm very proud of myself for that. But right now I'm actually walking towards like the Citadel Hill and I do have to stop for coffee but eventually I'm gonna go to Citadel Hill and we're gonna be covering a very important topic in this video. I'm gonna be breaking down my monthly expenses and how much I end up spending all together by the end of the month. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you guys stick around to the very end. And it's a beautiful day out here today, which is why I decided to actually film this video outdoors. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this in the future. So let's go. Can I just get a medium iced coffee with a splash of milk and a little bit of sweetener? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Guys, if you're ever in the north end of Halifax, you have to try Vandal Donuts. It is literally the best donuts you'll find anywhere in Halifax. It's actually closed right now, which is why you don't see anyone out there. But I swear, every single time I've been to this place, there's a huge lineup to like outside the door and I've had to wait up to like 20 to 30 minutes. Not even gonna lie but this is the most i've ever paid for an iced coffee here in halifax this came to like 650 after the tip which is like pretty steep if you ask me i'm used to paying like 225 to like 250 for an iced coffee but i also normally go to like mcdonald's or tim horton And just like that guys, in an attempt to film myself while taking a sip of my iced coffee, I have actually spilt the whole thing. Alright guys, so I made it to the Halifax Citadel Hill now and we're gonna talk about my monthly expenses as a 24 year old single male living in downtown Halifax. You're gonna be seeing me looking at my phone a lot but that's just because I have all my expenses sort of listed in a notepad here. So I just need to like refer to those so I know what I'm talking about. Now, when you move to a city, one of the biggest expenses you incur is your rent and accommodation. For my rent, I'm renting a three bedroom apartment right now and I have two other roommates so my rent gets split three ways and the rent for the entire apartment is $2,100 and my share with that is $700 and it also includes heating and electricity so that's actually not bad at all. $600 to $700 is kind of the average for a fewer single person just renting like a bedroom in an apartment so yeah that's kind of what you're gonna be looking at and just having heating and electricity included is like an added bonus because if you don't have that stuff included those costs could actually add up pretty quickly especially in the winter months because when you're using a lot of heat your bills are just gonna like skyrocket the next expense i have on this list is internet for which i'm paying 120 dollars and i have the fastest internet with bell get split three ways so my share with that is only $40 again not bad at all but you can easily find like cheaper plans for internet the reason I have the fastest one is because my life revolves around social media I upload a lot of stuff on YouTube and I upload a lot of videos in general which is why I do need faster internet okay so next thing I have here is this is actually my second biggest expense after my rent and that is my car so for my car right now I'm paying around $450 a month and that includes my monthly car payments, my car insurance, as well as what I spend on gas. Um, my car insurance is actually really expensive right now. I'm paying around $220 for my car insurance and I have actually no idea why it's so expensive because I've never like been pulled over before. I've never gotten a speeding ticket. The only reason I could think of why it's so high is probably the fact that I have a sort of like a newer car. I have a 2016 Kia 
and the fact that I've only had my driver's license for like three years. So that's like the only reason I could think of why my insurance is so high. But honestly guys, I don't even use my car a lot while living in downtown because I prefer to like walk to like most places and parking is always like a huge struggle um, anywhere in Halifax. So, you know, if you're living in Halifax, you don't even need a car. You can always use like the public transportation or walk if you want to. Now the next expense that I have here is groceries for which I'm currently spending around 300 to 350 dollars a month and I do majority of my grocery shopping at Superstore um, but if you're trying to like save some money on groceries you can always go to Walmart the prices over there are significantly cheaper than Superstore or Sobeys but that also has to do with the fact that for produce the quality isn't gonna be as fresh as you'd find at other grocery stores what I sometimes like to do when I'm trying to save money is I would buy all my non-perishables and like the box stuff at Walmart because it's gonna be cheaper but the quality really doesn't matter with box stuff it's probably gonna be the same no matter where you get it from but then I go to Superstore just to buy like my produce so the next expense I have here is coffee and eating out and you guys probably already know how much I love my morning coffee or even my afternoon and my evening coffee I drink a lot of coffee so my coffee and eating out usually comes up to around 150 to 200 dollars a month and that also includes what I'm spending on like restaurants which to be honest I don't really go to a lot of restaurants anymore especially since the pandemic you know my life's been a little too busy so I don't really have the time for that I'm definitely trying to like save up on some of these costs because I do want to like travel in the next like couple months so I do want to save some money like today I spent like six dollars on a freaking coffee that I didn't even get to drink all the way through because I spilled it remember coffee on average when you go to like Tim Hortons or McDonald's it's gonna cost you from anywhere from like 175 to like 250 and that's just for like a regular black coffee but if you're looking for like any of those like premium coffees like lattes and cappuccinos that's probably gonna cost you anywhere between 375 to like five dollars Starbucks is gonna be a little bit more expensive so the next thing I have here is my phone bill which is usually around hundred and twenty dollars a month and that's mainly because I have this plan with Eastlink that has like unlimited data you can easily find a plan that's a lot cheaper than that if you don't really care about having unlimited data I'm always on social media so I really do use up a lot of data so for me it works out um, okay next up I have haircut I like to get my haircut twice a month so each time I'm paying around $35 for a haircut which I would say is average for Halifax so my haircut two haircuts a month usually comes up to around $70 not too bad because you're probably gonna be paying the same especially if you're looking to get like a decent haircut so the next thing I have here on this list is my gym membership for which I'm paying around $22 a month and I go to fit for less and Fit for Less has locations basically all around Canada and it is probably one of the cheapest gyms you can find um, if you were to go anywhere else like Good Life and there's like a bunch of like other local gyms as well you'd be looking at paying around 55 to 60 dollars a month I'd say that's like usually the average even for YMCA although if you go to YMCA they have a pool there so you know if you like to swim YMCA membership might be worth it the next thing I have here is like my monthly you know memberships to things like Spotify and Netflix and I also have like a bunch of like other memberships which I use for you know the softwares that I use for like editing so that usually costs me around like $60 a month but if you're just looking at Spotify and Netflix that's probably gonna be like $20 for you so that's pretty much it for like most of my expenses um, the only other thing I have here is just like miscellaneous stuff you know buying like things for the house or like toiletries and things like that so that's usually around like 40 to $50 a month so so if I were to give you guys a total of what I'm spending in a month that's around $2,000 to $2,200 and I'm living a pretty comfortable lifestyle and you can easily do it for like much lesser than that especially if you don't have a car because $500 out of $2,200 is just coming from my car so if you don't have a car you can do it for like much cheaper Alright guys, so that is a wrap for this video. I really hope it helped you guys in some way and kind of gave you guys a basic understanding of what it's going to cost for you to come and live here. If this video helped you guys in any way at all, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated to everything that I'm going to be posting in the future. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.